It's been two years since Conor McGregor's last UFC fight, but he's still coming in hot with that pre-fight trash talk. Here we go. Hey guys, it's Ty. Thanks for watching The Fumble. For all the latest news on all your favorite athletes, make sure to hit subscribe and make sure to follow me on the gram and Twitter at Time on Sports. All right, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov, October 6, 2018. This is the mother freaking fight we've all been waiting, asking, and begging for for years. Well, true MMA fans at least. This was even before Connor went ahead and destroyed Khabib's bus. For those of you who don't remember, I'll make a long story short. Khabib was caught on camera cornering and punking one of Connor's friends. Connor didn't take too kindly to it. So naturally, he went and destroyed Khabib's bus with everyone on it, injuring a ton of MMA fighters. And subsequently, the MMA fighters had to cancel their fight because of injury. Now after that, Dana White said his relationship with Connor was in a bad place. Uh, he didn't even know what Connor's future with the company would be after that, and even alluded to the fact that Connor might be on drugs if he's acting like this. And now here we are. Connor's been relatively behaved, his relationship with the UFC is in a much better place, and he's fighting in October. Wow, we've come a long way. <laughs> but it's fight time now, and Connor's taking form full force. He just posted this pic of Khabib and his dad, tags the dad, and says, I can see you cowering behind fake respect, just like your middle child, quivering coward. God, I love Connor. Honestly, no one trash talks like Connor does in any sport across any league. He's the best, hands down. When I knock people out, they don't move. They're not, who the f is that guy? Who the f is that? Now, prepare yourselves because Connor and Khabib have their first press conference coming early next month. Yes! And yo, the Connor effect is alive and well. UFC 229 is already sold out with the second largest gate in UFC history. And UFC couldn't get rid of Connor even if they wanted to. Guys, drop a comment right now and make your fight predictions below. Who wins on October 6th? My money? It's on Connor. Now, if you've been rocking with me and this channel for a while, y'all know I am 10 for 10 when it comes to my UFC predictions. Now, there's an MMA expert who's saying that according to his research, if Connor McGregor loses to Khabib, he will retire from the UFC. <laughs> All right, give me your expert card because you're done. Connor owns the UFC, okay? He's not retiring number one and he's not losing number two. Yes, okay, anything is possible. He could lose, but again, my money is on Connor. But either way, both of them have a lot to lose if they lose. Khabib is undefeated, so that will be taken from him along with this title. With Connor, I mean, Technically, that belt is still his because he never defended it. He had to go make a quick 100 million and fight Floyd Mayweather. So this will be the first defense of his title. If he loses, Khabib becomes the king of the division. Man, you're 40. Get that phone out of your hand like a kid. Guys, drop a comment and let me know how many more fights we're gonna see out of Conor McGregor in the UFC. As promised, today's post notification shout out goes to Navy Dia. I'm gonna be in the comments commenting back on all of today's videos, so make sure you say hi. Also, make sure you're subscribed and then the Noti Gang for a shout out. Much love, fam. Peace.